I think when he said he'd come today, he didn't realize it was a holiday, but happy 4th of July. So, I'm going to play for a little while this morning, and then go clean a few things up, get prepared for him to come in and uh, glue all the towels to the wall. <laughs> <clears throat> so, to continue where we were last time. If we remember, we've got our guys here level five level five level four i have to find a blueprint before i can level these guys up i think i think everybody's in pretty decent shape gear wise There's my tank, 45 armor, 26% resists, 10 DBS. My healer, 18 DPS. My ranged DPS, 20. My melee DPS, 23. So yeah, I think we're okay. I'm ready to move on. This is Tower of Time. We finished level two. Complete. We also completed level one, 100%. So now we're Going to move to level three. Third level. Oh, I better get my volume up where it's supposed to be. There we go. Grab my razor, Tartarus Chroma. And here we are. We completely finished this level. It was a pretty busy level, and now we are here and about to go to level three. Now, if you remember, this tower originally was standing above ground, and some kind of magical force took it up into the air, flipped it 180 degrees, and drove it into the ground like a railroad spike. So we started at the bottom of the tower which is ground level and we're descending towards the top of the tower <laughs> so we're going to floor number three on our way down another descent towards the unknown you have now learned the conclusion to the grim history of the villagers they were unwittingly used by the mad magi in his dark scheme. Most of the expedition team was killed soon after they reached the second level, and the few that escaped were hunted down by Sleth or perished soon after. He needed to access the Grand Library to continue his research in world portals, pathways between different worlds. His goal was to create such a doorway and then subjugate the inhabitants living on the other side, marshalling a slave army. Under his twisted logic, he would have been lauded by his people for helping them in the war against a mysterious enemy. However, his true aim was domination of all the living things on the surface. The orcs, inhabitants from the first world he chose, proved resistant and turned on him. He escaped to the level below to create a portal to a more am amenable world. Your path is blocked. The staircase suddenly ends and there's nothing but darkness below. Your party have no option but to retrace their steps and search for an alternative way. Fortunately, they managed to find a smaller staircase leading off from the main one. 
soon after you arrive at an opening to the next level, or rather, a gap between the tower floors. Press any key to continue. Okay. Yeah, didn't need to press that key. <laughs> Luck finally turns in our favor. If we had not found this smaller access passage, we would be stuck at the collapsed section of the staircase. It very well could have been the end of our mission. Hey, it seems the tower is nigh indestructible after all. Still don't know it. Still do not understand how it happened that it's buried so deep underground and survived all these years. If you give five to one odds that it has something to do with magic. Even at those odds, I don't know, think I'd take that bet. You're probably right, lass. The truth is likely not that simple, Marksman. The legends speak of the near limitless power wielded by the ancients, yet... The force necessary to invert a tower of this magnitude and bury it underground is inconceivable, with or without magic. Quiet down, everyone. We can debate the origins of the tower later. Right now, we need to focus on what's in front of us and see where this passage leads. Okay. There's an unclickable hole in the ground. There's a teleport to go wherever we want. More gold. Hmm. Look down there. What manner of creatures are they? Looks like Groot. Can't make out much detail from this distance, but they're definitely some kind of wild beasts. They're no way native to this tower. No, there's far more to these wild beasts than meets the eye. Something stirs within them. I sense a dire power. Look how they behave, how they defer to the alpha of their group. I only, only see one. <laughs> how they stand in place, stand guard as if following orders. These are not the actions of a simple pack of wolves. There is a dark intelligence to them. Crude and limited, but intelligent. Nonetheless. Wolves? What are wolves? What? How fitting you would forget the very animals your kind hunted to extinction. Oh, I should have known better. Wolves are like dogs, if you have any of those left, but larger, untamed, and vicious. <clears throat> Extreme caution is required. The intellect guiding these beasts is old and malicious. I feel an overpowering hatred. Hatred for being imprisoned here against their will. We would be wise to avoid them entirely. Though I acknowledge wisdom is not a human strong point. Nay, beast on four legs is a match for a dwarf with an axe in one hand and fire in the other. It is likely creatures below are afraid of neither axe nor fire. Are you prepared to put your boast to the test? First, let's go open this chest. Pick up some stuff. Nope. Anything over here clickable? Nope. Deep below, your champions see a strange carving, glowing with red light. The air above it shimmers, and when passing through it, they feel sick. They also see a lot of skeletons, some of which appear to be of recent origin. Nothing to click on here. Corrupted water. All right, two ways to go. Looks like there's a chest over here. Huh. Chandelier. 
Mm. The chest is on the lower floor. Does this make you want a Reese's? Oh, how about this? Okay, we'll stop. Just kidding. We're not gonna stop. Not sorry, Reese's. See that now. Okay. Ah, this is a dead end. Don't know why. I thought there was two ways to go. Can actually walk across the chandelier. Pretty cool. Now I got two ways to go. The giant chandelier has crashed below. When your champions look at the chain, they see that it has been hacked on purpose. Got some goodies back here. Increases resistances to all elements. That's nice. A new shield. Hmm. Have to think about that one. Need to take a break for a moment, and I'll be right back. The one on the left is probably an upgrade, except for that it doesn't reflect 30% damage.
the interruption. It is an upgrade in every way, except it doesn't have that 30% damage reduction. That's okay. So we're at 47.34 now. So it's a big. And our might went way up. So we'd be doing a lot more damage. So that's fine. And we can always enchant it with something. Fire magic can be rendered useless if countered by the proper resistance. Oh, so who needs fire resistance? Let me look at my guys. You have five. You have 37, 11, 49. So it's pretty obvious who needs it. <laughs> you need some fire resistance. He has the least. Hmm. Something interesting down there. Condensation dripping water. A group of orcs approaches the party from the far end of the passage. They walk hunched over, clenching their weapons with wide, darting eyes. Though they see your champions, they constantly turn their heads in every direction. Even as their weapons rise in preparation of your attack, they are clearly distracted, as if something more menacing stalks these halls. Hmm, okay. Let's hit the save button. Let's go fight some orcs. There we go. Uh, I think it's the normal bunch of orcs we usually fight. Which direction are they coming from? All right, first they're coming from that way. All right, slow time. You bring out this guy. You, my tank, head that way. You, my melee fighter, head that way. Everybody fight. All right. Oh, okay. No problem. You go that way. Still nervous about buying a house? A little. Thought I could stress with some zen gardening. At least we don't have to worry about homeowner's insurance. Just call Geico. Good to know. I'll get the dustpan. Get to know Geico for homeowner's insurance. All right. 
Slow motion. Good job. They took him out quick. Let's see, he can he can heal himself. Fire so good. Ah, get out of that pipe. What's the matter with you? Make him come closer. Seem to be handling the guys behind us well, well enough. All right, get out of that stuff. Move up, move up. There you go, now you can reach him. That's the end. Good job. We dispatch these orcs quickly. Hey. So the orcs have ventured to this level as well. I grow tired of those dim-witted brutes, never yielding the fight even when their defeat is but certain. This group acted differently. They were surprised when they saw us, but seemed almost relieved that it was us. I wonder what would make them so jumpy. <laughs> I think we're going to find out. Very observant, Marksman. This time it is the orcs who intrude, and the creatures which claim this level don't take well to trespassers. A fact the orcs have discovered firsthand coming to blows against an enemy with even greater ferocity than their own. Welcome back, friend. I must admit, this tower always feels a bit less dismal when you grace us with your presence and knowledge. This other force you speak of, what is it? Friend? You call me a friend? The tower avatar floats before your champion, staring intensely at them each in turn. Her face divulges no emotion, but her eyes reveal a strong, penetrating presence, as if trying to peer into your champion's innermost thoughts. This is unexpected. I cannot recall the last time someone referred to me as such. I will share what I know with my newfound friends. This other force, I believe you glimpsed them earlier, comes from a world of beasts, Ancient and primal, Magus Sleeth opened a world portal to their world and lured them to the tower. I don't think it went as he planned. <laughs> it never does. As you have already learned, Sleeth's portals are only capable of transporting beings to the tower. So once the beasts came through, they were, for all intents and purposes, imprisoned here. What started off as few have multiplied over the years. The beasts now infect this entire level, corrupting it with their filthy presence. The orcs wage constant war against the beasts, trying desperately to diminish their numbers and impose their dominance, but the beasts have proved far too resilient and reproductive to overcome. The only thing that prevents the beasts from spreading to other levels are the tower defense mechanisms. I am afraid, however, just as before, these mechanisms will not differentiate between you and the beasts classifying you both as hostile invaders. Then we'll call it even, Sprite Lady. My axe don't indifferent between green-skinned and nightmarish creatures either. Your casual reference to terror is more astute than you realize. I feel the nature of these beasts is somehow corrupted. They act toward ends the Avatar has not yet revealed. If they have purpose other than to survive, I know not of it. The beasts feed on orcs, fallen in battle, or are foolish enough to venture off alone. When that is not enough, they feed on the weakest among themselves, or on new, unaccustomed arrivals from their own world. And yes, I can already see the questions on your faces. The portal to the beast world is still open. 
New beasts enter the tower sporadically. The tower considers this a major threat and has sealed off the lower levels until their presence is eradicated. juice. Good old fruit juice. The tower, you said you are the tower. How come you can't just clean their infestation yourself? Indeed, I am the tower, but my defense mechanisms are autonomous, programmed to defend my creators from threats like this without my voluntary control. It is a failsafe of their own design I cannot override. Avatar, can you tell us, who were your creators? The Magi, those of the five races with superior aptitude for magic, who gathered here to unlock its secrets. They are long gone now. In truth, my memory of them is mostly lost to time. Much of my energy is wasted containing the beasts here. There have been recent disturbing developments elsewhere in the tower, which I regret will require my full attention and capacity very soon. Perhaps you can purge this level of the beasts for me. We'll do our best. Again, charged with an incredibly dangerous mission by a mysterious power that gains us nothing in return. Are you really going to keep taking orders from her, Kane? If I did not know you better, I would believe you act out of jealousy. Except at High Career, the Tower Avatar is a construct born of duty. She has no motives or reasoning to task us other than to fulfill her own obligations. Obligations, as it turns out, that align with our very own goals. Or did you already forget? We must reach the bottom of the tower, and the next level remains blocked, as long as these beasts roam freely here. <clears throat> Still, I wish she had told us more about the technology of this tower, at least where we can find some machines to study. You give her too much credit, Chief. The more she tells us, the more I get the feeling she doesn't have a clue what's going on around here. Kane, you may be right. We may need to help her clear this level to proceed with my lord's mission, but that doesn't mean I feel any less manipulated or that I like it. Okay. So we tarry on. Anything to click on here? Nope. All right. That looks, yep, that end. More orcs up ahead. Your champions see a lot of crates with markings which you now recognize as orcish. It seems like this is their main staging area. They brace themselves for an imminent ambush. After a long while, unexpectedly, nothing happens. Hmm. I don't think they were waiting for an ambush. I think they're waiting for something to come to them. So, hmm. 7.30. Yep. Yeah, I'll do another fight. Alright. We have a gray shaman. Okay. All right, we got a semi choke point here. Here they come. All right. Let's bring out this goo. Let's. Bring my tank. Get out of the goop, the stuff. Need to move you over there.
didn't move him fast enough. He got stunned. That's okay. We're not really having any trouble with these guys. You two need to move up in the range. You go get that. You retreat. All right, slow down. Let's bring up the totem. Bring out this guy. You go pounce on a whole bunch of these guys at the same time. Spoom. Get out of the poison. You better go that way. You retreat. Oh. All right. You get out of that stuff. You get out of that stuff. All right, slow. Let's bring up these. They're good. Let's. And you go after that guy. You move forward. And then see if you can't buff these guys. Buff. And you buff yourself. And start shooting the boss man. You go pounce on the boss man. Can you bring the big guy up yet? Not yet. <clears throat> but you can set a totem down here. Oops. Oops. Got to quit doing that. Okay, she's got her smoke screen. Hunter's Mark. Put that on this guy. You've got Fire Barrage. You can also Blinding Flash. You've got your Wave. You bring up this guy yet? Yes, you can. Turn him on this, the back side. Looks like we're in pretty good shape so far. Keep shooting this dude. You probably need to move out of the way. Looks like he's coming down with the band hammer. Uh oh, we got more people coming. Where's my tank guy? Might need you to move over here and you over here. New ball stage. Okay, they're handling that guy all right looks like 
Let's see. Everything on cooldown. Everything on cooldown. Everything on cooldown. You've still got a heal available if needed. Are you doing anything? Yep, yeah, you're going after that guy. All right, speed up. All right, looks like you're handled. You go get that guy. Boss man's down. That's good. You go take care of that guy. Oh, more people coming this way. Move on up. Move on up. Boost yourself. You come this way. Go get these guys. He's down. He's done for. Chase them back. Boom. That's the end of it. We win. Very good. Ooh, a nice ring, I think. That's the wrong button. Fingers in the wrong place. What is it? It's got armor. Ooh, big loss of water resistance to gain some fire resistance. Day's immunity. Big loss of mana points to gain health regen. It's got too many negatives. All right, let's see. This guy. Does not need it. This guy. Give him more fire, but that would put his water resistance in the negatives and take a lot of mana away. Yeah, this is a terrible ring. The health regen's nice, but not worth it. Not worth it. I can't think of anybody I'd put that on, ever. Here's an upgrade in a gauntlet. Uh, minus seven fire resistance. Yeah, this guy. Look around a little bit. There's a chest. What is that thing? A new staff. Very nice upgrade. Only thing I'm losing is the uh, enchant, the mana steal. That's a good upgrade. 
his DPS went to 16. Oh, it went down. But everything else went up. Oh, <clears throat> half the attacks per second. I see that now. That's why the DPS went down. But his defenses would go way up. And he's only losing two percent or two DPS. I'll stay with what I have. The extra defense is nice. But that mana steal is pretty nice. 3% of all the damage he deals gives him more mana. I think they're too close at this point. Anything else over here? Forge, of course. All right. Maybe if I upgraded this. Let me see. Who else could use it up? How's my tank? Could upgrade the tank shield. Her bow. Or this staff. Let's upgrade her bow. There we go. Very good. All right, at this point, I'm going to assume that. Carlos is going to show up to do my kitchen splash tiles. I want to go clean a couple things up and get prepared for him. So, um, yeah, I might show back up again if he doesn't come today, if he realizes it's a holiday and decides not to come. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to hit. save it's in game save I'm gonna do a save game five And back. Exit to desktop. Okay. Thank you, everyone who showed up this morning. Happy 4th of July if you are in the United States of America. It's our Independence Day celebration. Some 200 and... 20, I don't know, years ago, we declared independence 
from the Brits. And we're celebrating that today. It's a holiday. Thank you again for being here. I hope to be back again soon. Thank you for those who hosting me. I appreciate it. Let's switch over to this guy. And my 1080p recording for YouTube. I never did start it, did I? Oh, boy. So, I'll have to record this. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next time. Happy 4th of July, Independence Day, USA.